Hello guys, myself Pawan and you are watching Optimistic Coder and in this video we are going to discuss about strings. So we will cover up what is a string, how can we create objects of string class and also we will come across how objects are created inside heap and string constant pool. So let's get started. So now what is a string? In general, string is a sequence of characters. But in Java, string is an object. And if you want to understand it in a better way, let's take an example of a character type array. So if you take an example of character type array, character type array will have all different characters inside the array. And it will be exactly same as what a string is. Let's take an example to understand this concept first. So I will just create here a character type array. Variable will be ch and I will be adding some random values in that. So let's add some random values. So now let's create a string object and then we will pass this variable inside it and we will try to print it and see what's the output. So let's print, let's uh, write a string class object. Here I am taking the object name is s and then new string and inside parenthesis instead of passing some string value I will just give this character array variable and I will print the value s. Now if you try to print it you will see the output is java. So by this we can clearly understand that string is somewhat like an array of characters. Now let's understand how we can create objects in string. So as I mentioned now that we have how we have created the string there are basically two different ways of creating a string. Either you can uh, you can create a string object using new keyword as I mentioned here earlier uh, or else you can also create a string object using literals. So we will first see the new keyword type as we have already seen it. So let's see. So when you create a string object using new keyword, you will write something like this. And inside parenthesis, you can pass any value. I will be passing here, hello. So our job is done and our object is created and our variable s is referring that object. Now internally, what happens in heap and string constant pool we will discuss that a bit later. Now let's see how can we declare it in literals. So if you want to uh, declare an object or create an object using literals, you will just simply write the string class, then a string object and then equals to and in double quotes, you can write hello. So these are the two different cases by which you can create a string object. Now let's understand what happens inside the heap memory and string constant pool. So people get confused a lot in heap memory and string constant pool concept. So in this video, you will get a clear clarity about it. So let's take the first line example and we will see what happens inside the heap. So when we are executing this particular program, JVM will first see this line and it will see that we have mentioned here a new keyword and you should keep this in your mind that whenever JVM is going to see this new keyword then it's 100% sure that JVM is going to create an object inside heap memory and also it is going to create an object inside string constant pool. This is for sure. Now how it happens? Let's have a look. So first JVM is going to see that we have mentioned here a new keyword. So it will go and create an object inside heap memory. That uh, object will be referred by the variable s that we have mentioned here with that uh, object. So the first part is done. That is to create an object inside heap memory and s1 is going to give, uh, get the reference of that object. But in the second part, the JVM is going to see this literal. When it find this literal, it will automatically go and create this literal inside string constant pool, which resides inside heap. But that object will not be referred now. The reason is when we are creating a new uh, object with the help of new keyword, then when the object is created inside heap, at that point itself, the reference variable s is getting its reference. But this hello, which is being created inside string constant pool 
will not have any reference variable and hence if you think that java garbage collection concept will come up in come into picture and it will remove that object then you are absolutely wrong it will not happen and the java garbage collection will not remove that object because internally java will give some reference to that object now why java is uh, or uh, now why what is the reason that in string constant pool an additional object same object is created the reason is for the future purpose or in future if same object is required by some other reference variable then we need not to create the same particular object again and then give the reference to that variable instead you can just go and check inside string constant pool and then give the reference from there so in the second line when JVM come across the JVM first it is going to do is it will go and check that is this literal or this object created inside string constant pool or not as we have seen that string constant pool already has the same object that point at that point of time JVM will not create any new object inside string constant pool but instead it will just give the reference of the previous created object to a newly created reference variable and hence we will be reusing the previous created object in string constant pool and this is the reason why string constant pool uh, already keep the uh, objects which are being not yet been referred so this is the concept of how objects are created in sense inside the string and string constant pool concept so that's all in today's videos guys i hope you liked the video if you liked it please hit like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a comment below i will see you in the next video with why strings are immutable till then bye bye